Hey, it's Matt, and I figured it was time to share another quote with you. I was looking through those book summaries that I typed up on my laptop and came across this book called The Happiness of Pursuit by Chris Gillibo. And Chris, if you happen to be watching, I apologize because I probably just butchered your last name. Uh, it is spelled G U I. L-L-E-B-E-A-U, and for those of you watching, you can correct me and give me the right pronunciation in the notes below, in the comments below. But when you hear that title, you probably think, oh, Matt, no, 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 you, you said it wrong. You got it backwards. It's the pursuit of happiness. Because we all think about, well, if, if we just reach that goal, if we get to that destination, reach that milestone, if I make only this much money, if this happens in my life, then I will finally be happy. And what Chris does in this book, The Happiness of Pursuit, is flip it on its head. And he says, wait, wait, wait. The joy in life, the true happiness, actually comes from the journey itself. And I love the different stories he tells and the, the challenges that he puts out in this book. And I want to share this quote with you because I was having a conversation with an individual this morning who, this will make more sense when I read the quote, but he's in this spot where he's got a choice to make. Let me read this quote, and then I'll come back to that conversation. Many people live within unhappy circumstances and yet will not take the initiative to change their situation because they are conditioned to a life of security, conformity, and conservatism, all of which may appear to give one peace of mind, but in reality, nothing is more damaging to the adventurous spirit within a man than in a secure future. The very basic core of a man's living spirit is his passion for adventure. Do you live a life that is seemingly secure in your mind? Are you conforming to what you've been told to do your whole life? I often think back, and especially when I read that quote, that you know, back when I was growing up, I was taught that, you know, you, you go to high school, you get good grades, and that affords you an opportunity to go to college. And when you get good grades there, then you go get a good job, and then you work your way up the corporate ladder. And that's just what I thought I should do. And so that's the path I took. But what I found when I was in certain roles within that corporate world is that I felt lost. And though I had this sense of security, right, because I was getting my paycheck every two weeks and I knew that if I performed well, if the company did well, that I'd get a bonus payout in March, right? I had this sense of security. My wife felt comfortable based on the paycheck that I was receiving. But it was almost like I personally was in this place where the adventure was gone. The excitement was gone. I was bored. I was always looking for something else because I had conformed to what I thought was the only path for my career and life. This individual that I was talking with this morning is at this decision point where he has this secure full-time job, but on the side he has been building this amazing business that is at the point where within two to three months probably he could jump off and do that full-time and truly impact lives. But it's this scary place that he's at. Just like I was a few years back when I was deciding whether I should jump shit from corporate America to start my company. It can be extremely scary when you have that sense of security right there. It's almost like this safety blanket. But like Chris says in this book of the happiness of pursuit, sometimes when you make that decision to take that leap, to change your stars, to go off after something big. It can create this unbelievable adventure in your life which gives you just a ton of energy throughout the day because you don't know what's around the corner necessarily, but that excitement, it keeps you driven, it keeps you going, it keeps you putting one foot in front of the other because instantly your life is pumped full of adventure. Perhaps you're at a place right now where you need a little adventure in your life, where you need a little jolt. Maybe you're at a point where you've got a decision to make where you're going to switch from one secure place in your life 
to one heck of an adventure. And it's unknown and it can be scary, but how amazing at the same time. This book does some pretty cool things to really challenge these, this conformity and security and being conservative and going after your dreams and making them a reality, deciding to take a chance and do something different, but not looking at it as being scared or something overwhelming, but resetting your mindset to say, I am about to embark on the most incredible journey I have ever taken. I will tell you between you and me that I hope this individual I spoke with today, after he builds out his plan, right, his, his transition plan, I hope he decides to go all in on this new adventure because I know the future is bright. I know it will be packed with adventure and he will find happiness in his pursuit. Please, in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this quote, on what you think, on where you're at, and how perhaps you can inject a little adventure in your day. I hope you have a great rest of your evening and day, and as always, don't hold back.